for this final part, I will just go complete rant mode because I want to convey to you what I really, really want you to get out of this entire book. Because you hear a lot of things and you feel a lot of insecurities and fears and, and hopes and ambitions as you listen to me or you listen to someone else. Um, but there are always these gems, these takeaways that I really want you to understand. If you get nothing from this book, I want you to understand these. And again, these are going to be something that I'm really digging deep inside my heart to tell you. First and foremost, it takes time. You have to understand that this type of stuff is not overnight. That's A. B, don't necessarily think you can command the action to result in success. Now, you can hope for it to happen. You can be relentless. You can do everything you can to achieve victory. But it is not a guarantee. If you go into the field of life, of anything in life, with that mindset of humility, nothing can stop you because then there is no failure. There's either learning or there's the success that you define success as. So that's one real takeaway I want you to get from it. Take your time. It is not an overnight or a cookie cutter or some pill solution. Two. Don't be extreme. Even though I personally have been very extreme, but a lot of my core confidence comes from years and years of a lot of pain inside, a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, a lot of downward spiraling. So if I have the self-confidence to not give a shit about what my parents think, or if I have the self-confidence to um, do something that most people fear, like moving to a brand new country where you don't know the language or you don't know anyone there. Or putting yourself in situations where you could get hurt or die. Like going to a dangerous place in, in Medellin where I went to feed uh, these homeless kids. I could have gotten shot, but I went. YOLO. That has to come from massive inner pain from decades of life. You may not be going through that, but that doesn't mean you can't have ultimate self-confidence. It just means that you have to develop a system which is bigger than you. It's almost like becoming liberated from yourself. That's what Albert Einstein said. It's the, the real value of a human being is the extent to which he can liberate from himself. Albert Einstein said that shit. So when you are in a situation where there's fear, you have to understand that the system you're following, be it for approaching a girl or standing up to your parents or trying to get a promotion at work or, or um, doing fitness, eating healthy, uh, arguing or, or, or winning in arguments with your family when they want you to eat meat and eggs and dairy because they think you're not going to get enough protein and and they're just dumb and ignorant where you have to be enough con you you have to have enough confidence in yourself to not give a shit about the other party that's how strong your belief system has to be and it's not necessarily your belief system, because remember, you were trying to get liberation from the self. It is the belief system of something which you have deep pain for and something that you will die to achieve. There's no other way. Unfortunately, there's no other way. Another really important takeaway is think of giving rather than taking. If you can do something that allows you to achieve a masculine mind, overcome addictions, dysfunctions, 
and become more confident. If you can help others by becoming that, your community, your family, your friends, the world, then do it for them. Imagine you living a healthy life. Imagine how, you, how much you can teach others and how much you can help others, not necessarily by YouTube and websites and social media, no. Just by living that way and people seeing you live an amazing life. That's the third aspect. Think of the community. Think of others. Don't just think of yourself. And have that be the reason for you to do certain actions. And when fear does kick in, think to yourself, if I give in to this fear, am I not being selfish because I'm caring about my fear rather than someone else's benefit? Because no doubt I will help thousands if not millions of people if i overcome these bad habits or addictions or dysfunctions whatever you want to call them this is a real deal man it's a real thing so keep that in mind the fourth thing is don't let someone who you don't treat or consider as a masculine person to tell you what masculinity is Every person who teaches you or expresses his feelings about what it is to be a man, you have to want to have the masculine characteristics of that guy. That's A. And B, you have to deep down believe that that person himself is fucking masculine. Not that you want to know what he knows or, 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 or get what he has. No. You have to want to be what he is. So me, for example, if I have certain characteristics that you want to be, if I have certain traits that you want to adapt or adopt in this case, only then should you listen to what I say. Otherwise, find someone else. So that's very important. Point four. If you respect someone's masculinity and you want to have that embodied in you only then should you listen to what they're spitting out of their mouth so that's four these are pretty much it <laughs> believe it or not these four takeaways if you remember it with honesty integrity and conviction you will ach achieve and attain the masculine mind and ultimate self-confidence i wish you the best of luck Please feel free to contact me on our Facebook group, biggest our, our Facebook group, biggest balls in the game, balls with a Z, or comment on YouTube at Doc Testosterone YouTube channel, uh, or send me an email, personal email, and I'll answer your question on Fridays with Farhan, the, the future episode, or I will personally answer you by writing to you. And and that's all I wanted to say in this book. I hope you enjoyed the masculine mind, overcoming addictions, dysfunctions, and how to gain ultimate self-confidence thanks for listening thanks for reading and i will see you soon